Lane, I figured uh, I'd shoot a video for you. I haven't uh, been out since yesterday, actually, to start it. I um, uh, had it running. I mean, it started right up after the new battery yesterday. Left it running for two, three hours, actually, uh, just to have it, like, warm in the back as people were looking at it yesterday. Uh, and actually, I only had two people show, I guess, because of the bad weather. And one of them ended up buying our diesel excursion. The other one promised to come back uh, after the title issue was fixed. But um, anyway, uh, it's about 12 degrees now, I think. So I'm going to try to start it right now. And we'll see how it goes. So uh, this side, actually, uh, I'm going to try to get a little closer... Uh, we had already started fixing and uh, kind of trying to treat the rust along this edge. So this side actually doesn't have any runaway rust like the other side. Uh, the rest of like the lower side looks really good here. Uh. Yeah, so this this side, uh, this is the driver's side, is really solid. There is um, a little messed up spot on the... Um, uh, this is the plastic cover on top of the bumper. Bumper itself looks... Oh no, it's got one little ding, ding right here. Uh, probably from a driver backing into something. There is a tow hitch on here. Oh shit, but you'll have to use a grinder to cut off the... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I have the key for that. And then there's, uh, the trailer electrics are the round hookup, I guess. So, um, anyway, I can't remember if I ever used this. Uh, back here. I, shit, I had this open yesterday, but, um, well, let me try to open it again. Oh, shoot. Do I have the right? Yeah, I have the right key here. Right. There it goes. Ah. No, I think I just locked it. Okay, so it must be frozen shut right now. Um, we had all this ice and snow yesterday. Um, passenger side, very back. Looks fairly decent. Uh, paint came off right here, but the rust is not bad back there. Uh, there's tiny scratches that were touched up a little bit at this point. Uh, there's a little door ding right here, but these scratches will probably detail out. Um, in this transition between the gold and the black, uh, the paint has come off a little bit and there's rust showing right there. So, um, not, I mean, there's a little bubble right here under the black but mostly it's right along on the gold side, right here where it's, it needs uh, to have some work done. Um, so right here, now the bad part is along here. So see how the vinyl top is lifting up and that's because rust bubbles were forming. On the other side, what we did is we peeled back the uh, vinyl top uh, four or five inches ground out all the rust, uh, put some Bondo and sealer up there, and then uh, brought the vinyl top back down and glued it down. Now, as you saw on the other side, we didn't mess with the transition between the painted portion and the vinyl top. Uh, so to conceal the rust or the where the work will be done, uh, it would take, you know, probably a, a bigger bead of uh, vinyl to make all this look good again. So, I mean, the other option I was thinking about was actually getting a new vinyl top to come all the way to the top of the windows. So this would never become like a problem area. I mean, there's a couple places where the paint uh, started cracking right here at this window and right there. Anyway, so I'm gonna, oh, and on this side, there's a couple small, almost like door dings, one right here and one right there. Uh, other than that, uh, this plastic could be glued back on a little better, but it's not really that visible. Um, these aftermarket lights, the one on the driver's side, 
I need to check what's missing there. It's it's loose. It's not sitting. Um, probably just a little uh, retainer clip or something that's come out of there. So, um, oh, the uh, hood shocks are not holding up in this cold weather. I got the hood to stay up yesterday, but today it's not cooperating. So, right back here where this light goes into the bracket, there should be something else to hold it up. Uh, other than that, uh, looks pretty good up here. I think all the fluids are good. Okay, uh, let the hood go down. No, we try to start it. See how it likes the 11 degrees here. One thing I for sure know is that the lock unlock function does not work for the rear doors. So, or, you know, passenger door. Oh. Shoot. Well, tell you what, either I have a bad connection on the battery or, yeah, it looks like we're right in the middle on the gauge here. So probably have a bad connection. Uh, give me one second, I'll double check that really quick. Oh, yeah. oh, shoot, you know what? I think something is slow draining the battery because it is not wanting to cooperate. <sighs> okay, I'm going to stop the video and try to figure out um, tighten this down and then we'll try to start it again.